you probably wouldn't eat your credit card. But according to a study by WWF International, you could be ingesting a credit card worth of plastic each week. That's a little bit more than a teaspoon of microplastics being consumed by humans every week. In fact, we're breathing microscopic pieces of plastic, eating them and drinking plastic-infused water every day. We weighed out what that looks like. 21 grams of plastic a month is one Lego brick. 125 grams every six months, that's enough shredded plastic flakes to fill a cereal bowl. 250 grams a year, the size of a heaped dinner plate. 2.5 kilos every 10 years, enough to form a standard life buoy. And in an average lifetime, two recycling bins. Malcolm Hudson leads the research into marine plastic pollution at the University of Southampton. Those plastic particles, if you like, are little time bombs waiting to break down small enough to be absorbed by wildlife or by people and then potentially have harmful consequences. The WWF International study found that we're mainly ingesting microplastic through drinking water, but also via sources like shellfish, which tend to be eaten whole, so the plastic in their digestive systems is also consumed. As plastic is not biodegradable, it ultimately ends up everywhere, even in the most remote locations, from the depths of the ocean to Arctic ice and our bodies. While we do swallow plastics in our food, um, we are mostly passing that through and it may not be harming us. However, there are the smaller plastics. So when we talk about microplastics, we're talking about things smaller than five millimetres in size. Um, but plastic breaks down into the in the environment into smaller and smaller pieces. So we can go from millimetres down to nanometres. Um, and when we're down at the nanometre scale, uh, we're talking about nanoparticles here, it is possible that they could be absorbed by our digestive systems and end up in our bodies. So it could pass into our blood or lymphatic system and, and end up in our organs. And we are still learning about how, <coughs> how many plastics there are at these very small sizes. Dozens of reports have been published on microplastics, but the scientific community is still only scratching the surface of understanding just how much plastic we consume and how harmful it could be. What we can say, I think, with some certainty is if we carry on at the moment, as we're going, producing more and more plastic, not managing the waste very well, eventually we'll reach levels where there are thresholds exceeded and there are harmful effects on the environment and potentially even on ourselves. Mm -hmm.